morning everybody so today is august 31st the last day of um august and we are reaching september um so right now i look so tired but mom life but today we're going to it's saturday and we are taking the kids to a corn maze um that should be fun um the thing is regardless of like all my back issues i still try to go out and have fun with my kids um take it easy as possible i mean this is my favorite season so i'm gonna push through anything my son picked out my outfit today um i'm not very comfortable if i'm being honest because i have so much weight on me which i've started um I, which i've started to um, I shouldn't say diet, but I've just kind of started getting back to like the lifestyle that I'm supposed to be on that makes me comfortable and happy that I'm nurturing my body and um, tweaking it a little bit. Uh, but I'll get to that on this another time. But he picked up my outfit. One of the tank tops is a little tight, but he was so happy with what he picked up for me that I just could not not wear it. Mainly this tank top here. So, anyways. I'm here to take my multivitamin, my omeprazole, and um, head downstairs. My husband's feeding the kids. I'm just going to get ready to go. So today's basically journey is us going to the corn maze. Um, depending on how long we're out, I might stop at Burlington Coat Factory to go get the boys some fall clothes, winter clothes. They got gift cards. Oh, i got to try to brush this into a pony. Um, gift cards so I use all their targets gift cards for some clothes but now I'm gonna we're gonna probably go to Burlington so here we go I'm gonna bring this downstairs with me um, like if I'm going from a house to house I bring this this with me because this is my favorite breast pump I only use one part of it um, a to be honest is because I can't find this other piece but um, in the middle of the night, I kind of just plop it on and scroll it on my phone because I don't have a bra on and I don't like to keep a bra on all the time because it's not good for breast milk supply and I'm already a little supplier. So I just use one of these, but the Spectra is my favorite. I have more parts coming in today. I just ordered some yesterday, so I will have double parts again soon. Um, but I'm going to bring this downstairs and pump and then kind of continue my day. But this won't because we're going to be outside and I have nowhere to plug in, I can't bring this with me. So I'm going to bring my wireless breast pump with me. Last night's pump session started this whole, um, that started this bag last night. Pretty much everything I have pumped, I fed the baby in the last two days. Um, so I'm going to debate or think about if I want to feed this to him or if I want to freeze it. But honestly, I think I might feed it to him only because. I have um, to consolidate my regular freezer stash and transfer it to the deep freezer. So this might be what I feed him today. Adding to this once I finish pumping. So this will probably go up to about, I think it's three ounces here. I think it's going to go up to four. Um, and then I'm going to try to get five ounces before I feed it to him. But either or, he'll still be getting some breast milk. So hubby cooked this breakfast. I have to log this into my app because I am calorie counting. My goal every single day is to get more protein in than uh, my carbs and sugar. Um, I'm also doing no dairy. Um, the, pes the diet that I'm doing is pescatarian. Um, because I have fibromyalgia, I, I feel like the best way to go in my lifestyle right now is pescatarian. Um, because I don't get so much inflammation. So I am also replacing all my dairy with like oats. So right now I got some oat milk that I'm going to put in here, vanilla oat milk. Um, and then, um, I do think I might try to get some, like, flavor shots or something like that. But I know they do sell oat milk and dairy-free creamer. But this is what I have right now. So, put that in my coffee. Get my coffee in. Um, and then I think tomorrow I'm going to do, like, some regular, um, rolled oats or something. But this is not bad. But I gotta log these in here. I may or may not eat all of them. We'll see. But... Yeah, that's this is pretty much my breakfast. We are here and I'm so excited. There's everybody is here with their little ones. I think people on the across are golfing. It's so cute. I'm just quickly cleaning my 
breast pump here my man my uh hands-free one while my husband is setting up the um stroller but stay tuned look at the horsey guys it's a hay i want to go on a hay ride yeah we can go once we don't need no big stroller wow look They're so cute. Look at the horsies, guys. Yeah, I'll tell her we're here. The one. Hold on, stop so they can see it. You see the horsies? Yeah. So we are inside one of the buildings. Oh, it's fresh fruits. Got our cider and it's so yummy. The kids are gonna have a sip, and then we got we got a big one right over there for home. And now we're on the hunt for the donuts. We gotta figure out where the donuts are. So we got some vegan chili cheese fries. It's soulfully vegan. And then we got two classic hot dogs. I wanted the chili cheese fries, but next time we need to bring more money monies. <laughs> but everything is, is having fun so far. Yummy. Snoopy. Can you say hi, Snoopy? Yeah, he's walking. I'm tired. We are done as you can see. I am sweating so bad. I have to get my endurance way back up. I have to get, get oh, that's my sister's glasses. Oh, really? I have to get a lot of things back up because I had a good time, but it was a bit of a struggle. Like, I can definitely feel the weight on me. Um, but I, I did overall have a good time. Ooh. I just gotta blur that out. My son's in the background. <laughs> but yeah, it was fun. Um, I cannot wait for um, the apple harvest. That's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna try to rough my butt off all of September to kind of get that endurance back up. And at least my weight down a little bit to where I can function. So, alrighty. Out of this, if I can open it, <laughs> I think it's the wrong side. It is, but this is what I have in my regular freezer so far. I'm gonna have to transfer this down to my deep freezer. Look at me go, look at me go. Yes, it's for Teddy and you too, if you want some. For five bags so far, I'm gonna go get me a new, another freezer bag, put these in there. I just put a six ounces in the freezer from this morning i am so proud of myself september 2nd so for breakfast i'm having some um cooked oatmeal i'm gonna put some mct oil in it and some collagen and then sprinkle the top with some hemp hearts and then my husband's making me two eggs because i am peanut and i don't want any oil popping on him um, I was fine with cooking the oatmeal because it was just boiling and stirring, but gotta be safe. So that's what I'm having for breakfast this morning. Protein packed, nutrition packed, and uh, yeah. So I had some fish left over from yesterday. 
Um, I put it in the air fryer and kind of grilled it, uh, broiled it a little bit more. Um, I got some kale, some micro sprouts, some uh, super micro sprouts, and then obviously some cherry tomatoes. And then for my dressing, I'm going to be using this bitchin' uh, <laughs> artichoke dip sauce. Um, because it's dairy free. I had some poppy seeds, um, dressing in there, but I don't know if it's dairy based. So, right now, again, like I said, I'm doing dairy free. Um, but I'm gonna put this on there, mix it on up, and then I'm maybe, I don't know yet, I'm going to have this on the side, but depending on how I feel after I eat this, I mainly want to get this in. Um, I do need to have my probiotics for today, but I'm not sure yet. Alright, so I want to make some beans um, and some lentils, but I don't know exactly what I want, so I'm going to go through my, oh no, I gotta clean that off, I'm going to go through my beans and I don't know, figure out what I want. I want some lima beans. What's this? Some split peas. No, I don't want that. I want some black eyed peas. Oh, you know what? I think I'm just going to make some lentils and some spread. Well, maybe I'll make some split peas. So I'm going to make some lentils. And then some split peas. But I want to soak three things. So maybe I'll do the rest of these. And that. We'll see. Okay, so the winners are... I'm going to soak some of these lentils. And then some split peas. And then the rest of these chickpeas. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to soak the rest of these. So I have three of my, of my bowls. Just gonna soak these overnight. So then I can make some. I'm gonna cook each of these separately tomorrow. I'm trying to get the bag open but I can't figure out where the hole is. And that's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough. I want to do more. Make a big batch because we'll eat it throughout the week. <laughs> Doing this one handed is awful. Hold on. Wouldn't be a day if I did not end it with being clumsy once. I did so good today with my clumsiness. And of course. That's what happens. You no, know, I don't like Roya. I really, really don't. Um, but I also don't believe in wasting stuff. But, like, you know, you can have peas and things like this for a long, long time before they, like, really go bad. Um, I didn't have them that long. But when I really discovered how much Koya is just not for you, um... I had already bought this, so I'm just going to use the rest of whatever beans and lentils I have left. Um, and then um, I usually just kind of get my stuff from like Whole Foods, um, India Markets, things like that. Mainly from the India Markets is where I like to get my stuff from. So, yeah, I just washed all my baby's bottles. I think I'm just going to wash these before I go to bed. Um, but I cleaned my kitchen. I'm so happy. Mopped my kitchen floor. Um, and my living room is nice and cleaned up, so, oop, I might, I am going to have to take a washcloth to this because we just cooked dinner before my in-laws left. Um, but yeah, I have a big day tomorrow. So tomorrow I have my baby's first appointment for his swallow study. Um, I don't know if I filled you guys in on any of that, but basically, 
Mason has to go get um, a swallow test done, and then we have an October appointment for his like baby endoscopy. Um, I'll fill you in. Actually, no, I thought I had that footage. I don't have it. I will make a video of that later, um, talking about what's going on with my son and what's been going on with me. So, I am going to skim these off the top and toss them and then let these bad boys soak overnight. I got my, uh, the bad ones off and into here. I'm going to toss those and these are good to go for sitting overnight. Note, if you soak your beans or anything like that, um, if you pour water into your beans, your lentils, your chickpeas, if they float, you should not eat those. You should toss them. They're basically, what is that? <laughs> they're basically bad so you just don't want to cook them I don't know the only way to describe it is with like a fish when that fish is gone it starts to float so you gotta take it out that's how your beans and stuff are should go so alrighty so I feel like the hardest part about the formula that my son drinks that he has to be on is like this part like it curdles up <clears throat> like most babies when they puke obviously like when it's digested it gets a little bit curdled but this gets like clumpy clumpy because it's rice starch thickened like it has rice starch and stuff in it uh so that's pretty hard like to clean up off of him and then when you get it on yourself uh well, what are we gonna do what are we gonna do what are we gonna do we got a big day today at the doctors. <laughs>